singles and there uh, Rachanuk Intanon, the 18-year-old from Thailand up against the Olympic bronze medalist and number two seed here, Saina Nawal from India. Well, a very healthy state of affairs as far as women's singles are concerned because at quarter-final stage, there were obviously eight players and eight different nations uh, represented. And, of course, that means that in semi-finals, we've got four different nations represented. So our umpire for this, Ian Spear of England. The toss of the coin, the first of his duties. Well, if you were with us yesterday, you would have seen Sina Ne will battle her way through against the former champion Wang Shoshian in the quarterfinal. What a thrilling match it was. She is the number two seed, but since the seeding last week, went down one place in the world ranking to number three. Five and two, her record for the year, which translates into a semi-final at the Malaysian Super Series and a quarterfinal in Korea. Career, of course, the first of the Premier Super Series events. This all England, the second. Indonesia, Denmark and China, the others. And Sina Nawal, well, that confirms what a tough match she had yesterday. But she also had her problems in the first round against Sapsari Tarat, Tarat Tanachai. Well, another one of the young Thailand female players. Saved a game point in the first game of that quarter-final. Her opponents, 18-year-old Rachanuk Intanon, number eight in the world rankings. And number eight seed here. She has been as high as six. And her win-loss record for the year, as you can see, she's only played one tournament. She lost first round of the Korean Super Series and then withdrew from Malaysia, citing fatigue. First round against Tai Su Ying, who, of course, has been doing very well of late. Teammate Jindapon in the second round and then disposed of the World Championship bronze medalist and number four C Juliana Schenk of Germany in yesterday's quarter final having dropped the opening game well the court is going to need to be mopped of the pace perspiration well i can remember talking about women's singles a year ago and saying it was a very very exciting time for this discipline in the world of badminton as you can see, this is the seventh meeting between these two players. Sina Nawal having won four of them. But the last time they met, it was Rachanuk Intanon. That was in the group stage of the Super Series finals at the end of last year. Ian Spear from England, the umpire. So the three-time former world junior champion, Arachanuk Intanon of Thailand, getting this semi-final underway, just turned 18. Didn't play in the world junior championships last year because she was playing senior events. She's still eligible for the world junior championships this year. What a talent she is. Well, Anthony, we, we have been discussing for over a year now the women's singles and the changing of the guard and the fact that it's very exciting times. Five young Thailand players doing well in World Badminton and, of course, Arachan and Antanam, the best of those Thailand players. But Sina Nawal, Olympic bronze medalist, Tai Su Ying, 
from Taipei, another excellent player, the current World Junior Championship, Okohara from Japan. And here we are, semi-final stage of the All England. And for the first time in 18 years, not one single Chinese player in the women's singles at semi-final day. It's just brilliant to see for the sport, isn't it? Lots of different countries contending for the sort of later stages of a tournament, hopefully in the future for the medals in bigger championships like Worlds and Olympics. It can only be good for the sport. You know, I think a lot of these teams have taken on board what the Chinese have been doing and tried to now better themselves and better even more so than what the Chinese have done in the past. Bololei Golpachant, Simon Awell's coach. And of course, he was a former All England winner, 2001. Judged to be wide and long. Yeah, it's lovely. Oh, that's nice from Sine and Awell. They had a very good year last year. It did the Indian number one. Five finals, winning four of them. And two of them, Premier Super Series events. The Indonesian and Denmark Open. Oh, that's nice. Sonia now was just so good at dealing with pressure, isn't she? You know, she's almost got a nation on her shoulders. You know, one of the greatest athletes in her country. The expectations so high and to be able to deal with that and also then perform so well in finals just shows a, a lot about her. Yeah, her fighting capabilities renowned the world over. Mm. I think the line judge got that right. Anthony, both these players quite obviously have their qualities, but to me, they're actually quite different in their styles of play. Just tell us your impressions of, of both players. Sanya Nowell very much likes to soak up, you know, the rallies, twist and turn her opponent. You know, she has that fighting quality. She always makes her opponent play that one extra shot. The opposite way around, Antonon. Looks to play her shots with a lot of accuracy. Tries to use the double action shots, the holding on the shuttle onto the racket and then flicking away. It's a, it's a really good matchup. You know, both ladies similar in height and similar in, in body types. I think this is a great contest. Yeah. I really do love the relaxed, easy hitting style of Rachanuk Inthanon. Yeah, well, I know it didn't work on that occasion, but she, she possesses these extra skills and the extra deception. I suppose the extra flair. Yeah, to be able to turn your wrist like she did just then and open up a hand as wide as she did to them try and cross that net shot really does show the kind of level of racket skill she possesses. That very few players can even attempt that shot.
starting to play a little bit too tight at the moment, Intanon. She needs to relax that little bit. Four errors on the on the trot. You know she went for that very tricky net shot, and now has just proceeded to give Sonia Nable four points without really having to do anything. Yeah, well the run of points comes to an end. Six straight points in total from four six down to ten six up. Oh, that's a lovely way to finish that rally and break that run. Oh, terrific fluid movement from Arachinok. She's such a dangerous player, isn't she? she? You just always keeps you guessing. You know, Sonia Newell expecting the cross slice on that occasion. That one, she has an ability to be able to roll the fingers across a shot, which is obviously a very difficult thing to do to keep under control. Oh, super disguise. Uh, really emphasising what I was trying to explain a little earlier about this bit of flair that suddenly she can produce a shot that nobody's expecting. Wonderful skills. Great vision to see where the gap is. Back level, 10 all. Going to go wide. It was terrific spinning net shot from Arachanok Intonon. And it means that on a run of five straight points, she has the lead at the mid-game interval. Interesting how Arachanok got into the sport. Her parents were migrant workers from the northeast of Thailand and they moved to Bangkok, got a job in a sweet factory. And the owner of the sweet factory was very alarmed about a very small Arachinuk running round and all the, the boiling syrups and so on that were used in the factory to make all the sweets. And therefore said, we've got to get this child out of the way and put her on a badminton court. And the rest, as they say, is history. Oh, it's now a run of six straight points. Brilliant to see a player play with such an array of different strokes. You know, really is making Sonia. They will guess almost of where the shuttle is going to go.
New shuttle required. Yeah, she creates opportunities, doesn't she, with her deception from the net. There on the return of serve, that little hold and flick. But it's never the same shot twice. You know, it's always a different option. And every shot she does from underarm is like a double action shot. Well, you can tell from Simon Noble's reaction at the end of that rally what sort of determination she has as a player. Oh, it's clever, clever play from Simon Awell. Good use of the body smash. Oh, wonderful. Look how she arches her back. By the time she's hit the shuttle, body weight going forward again. Ugh. Wonderful skills and disguise. So accuracy on the overheads as well that's been so impressive as well. Every shuttle that she's hit has landed roughly a centimetre from the line and with good power at times. 2.11, her smash there, which was Andy Murray's fastest serve in the Australian Open tennis final. Another accurate smash there from the teenager. It was almost like a reverse slice smash that time. Once again, using the fingers to roll across the racket. Uh, so accurate. Well taken. Well, there's one thing you can be certain of, Sina Nawal will never, ever give up. Finds a way time and time again in difficult situations to battle her way back into matches. It's almost like at times she says to herself, right, that's it. You've had enough points, I'm going to shut up shop, I'm going to get everything back, and I'm going to make my shots more accurate as well. Well, judged to have clipped the outside edge of the line. Well, at the moment, the Thailand youngster is certainly commanding the front of the court. Oh, my goodness. 
Real indecision there from Sinan Awal. By the time she decided to play it, it was woefully late. Gonna leave it, gonna leave it. Oops, gonna go in. Can't afford to do that. You gotta make your mind up a little earlier. Once again, comprehensively outmaneuvered. She really does have a very all-ground game for an 18-year-old to be able to have the speed, the power, and the best bit, the shots at that age is just incredible. Brilliant. There was a cross-court net shot in the middle of that rally that was exquisite from the 18-year-old. And it helped build the rally. And it's now game point opportunities for Ratchanuk Internon. Oh, has so well taken. Great skill to control the flick there from a tight spinning net shot. And the number eight seed, Ratchanuk Intonon of Thailand. 21-15, the opening game, and really looked very impressive indeed. It's, it's broken. Yeah. Well, the very quietly spoken Pulela Gopichan just giving his player lots of advice and encouragement. He was always very calm and collected as a player as well. Carried that through to his coaching style now. So the number two seed from India, Sina Nawal, needs to do something here against Arachanok Intanon of Thailand. Otherwise, the youngster who's only just turned 18 last month is going to be in the All England final. Oh, that's just absolutely delightful. It's just incredible to see her array of different shots and the accuracy of what she can play them as well. There is a danger with a skillful player like Hinton on that the mistakes creep in, just going for a little bit too much. She's found a range so well.
Yeah. Good use of the body smash. Creates the angle first of all with the cross court net shot and hits the shuttle straight at her opponent. Their tactical awareness. So good for a player so young. Good smash from Sine and Awell. Well, it looked to me as if there was a little more urgency in the rally there from the Indian number one. Whether it's early signs that she's starting to read the game a little bit better, Nawal certainly was early on that one. Oh. Yeah. Not entirely sure what Nawal was thinking halfway through that game. A really very, very short lift indeed. And she played the drop shot and then made a winner out of an even more difficult position. Ah, oh, superb. Reading the game so well. Quite a contrast in movement as well, isn't there, Anthony? I think Rachanok Intanon, almost balletic in her movement around the court, just seems to glide around the court, whereas Sina Nawal is a has busy footwork. She's very good footwork. She's very quick, but it's... It's much busier, if you know what I mean. Yes, in a way, it's not as natural. I know exactly what you're saying. You know, one player looks to be floating around the court. That's the other in Nawal. It's almost, she has to force herself to make those movements. Think back a year or so, Anthony with Sina Nawal, and she was going through what she believed was a, a torrid time. She hadn't won a title for 12 months since the Swiss Open, and then at the Swiss Open, which of course happens the week after this All England last year, finally won a title again. And I remember her telling me that how much inspiration she'd gained from Sachin Tendolka. And just to explain that a little bit more, of course, Tendolka was looking for his hundreds, hundred in cricket. And he achieved that on semi-finals day. And she drew inspiration from that and then won her first title for a year. It's amazing how something like that can happen, you know, to take inspiration from somebody who has nothing to do with your sport whatsoever. It just shows that, you know, you need to be really open as a player and accept advice and accept things from outside of your sport that can make the difference, certainly on a mental side. Yeah, we saw it. A huge influence of that during the London Olympic Games once the GB team got their medal haul underway. Then it just seemed to snowball and steamroller on, which, of course, was absolutely wonderful for the home fans in London.
Yeah, finds the line. Sina Nawal looks towards the umpire as if to appeal. She thought it was wide of the mark, but no overrule from Ian Spear. Some definite uncharacteristic mistakes from Naywell today. You know, she has played some long, long matches, especially yesterday, gruelling matches. Just finding a few mistakes. It's lovely. I, I do wonder the longer this match goes on, that obviously Intanon being a young player, only 18 years old, playing at this kind of pace, how long she can keep that going for. We know the fighting skills of Naywell, and we know that she will just keep going and going be interesting to see once the players start to slow that little bit. Yeah, well, I'm as you were talking then, I was thinking back to the Olympic Games, and of course, Rachanon Intanon was playing in the quarterfinal against the number two seed Wang Sin from China. She was a game and 16 9 up. I was commentating on it. I thought there was going to be a huge upset, and that the youngster from Thailand was going to be in the semi final. And she promptly lost 12 of the next 14 points. So you can never tell in this sport what exactly is going to happen next. Well, one thing's for certain. Rachanuk Intanon has the advantage at the mid-game interval here in game number two, having taken the first. Mm. Well, were they saying watch for the push down your forehand side and try and intercept it? Now, if you were Pulela Gopichan, what would you have said? I think the thing's definitely got to be that she's got to cut and make her work even harder than she is doing already. Try and get to the net that little bit earlier and dom dominate the rallies more because it's, it's Ratchinok that's doing the dominating of each point and Naywell's just sort of retrieving. I'd like to see Naywell take the game to her opponent a lot more. Yeah, more initiative. Just like that rally, again, it's it's Naywell just defending all of the time, trying to soak up the points. And Rachinok just too good in those areas to let her just play free. Oh, look at that. Swaying the body one way, hitting the shuttle the other. Cool as you like.
Mm, that's a worrying sign for Indian fans. Five point advantage now to the 18 year old. Well, that was very wild. There's no need to have hit that shuttle as hard as she did. Yeah, it's nice. Just long of the back line, and time is running out for Sina Nawal. Mm, crikey, that is good judgment. Really wasn't in a position to play the winning smash there, Sina Nawal. But at least she was trying to do as you were suggesting, Anthony, which was try and take a little more initiative in the rally to command the rallies a little more. Oh, my goodness me. Absolutely wonderful. Some days you just have to hand it to your opponent. They just have too much and they're just too good. That is incredible skill. Finds the line. No one just feels that if Sina Nawal wants to at least take this to a third and deciding game, Got to start closing this gap right now. That will certainly help her cause. Good rally. Very good rally. It's going wide. Yeah, and that hurts. Grueling rally physically. Rachinuk Intanon struggling at the end of that. Yeah, I did think a few points ago that there was a few signs of fatigue kicking in. She asked for a break previously, and then she was asking for a break then. Yeah, missed another. Look at her body language once again. Looking tired once again, not really getting herself in position to play the winning smash. And all of a sudden, there's just two points in it. Oh, it's called good. 
Well. Yeah, quite clear what Thailand thought about that clear, that call. I have to say, my initial reaction was that it was long, and that confirms it. Sympathy for Ratchanuk Intanon. There was no need for that net shot from Sonia Nawal. It didn't need to be as tight as she was trying to play it. Yeah, well, one of the oldest tricks in the book. Retie the shoelaces when you need a bit of a breather. Gasping for air. Two points away from a place in the final. A yeah, real determination in that rally from Sina Newell. Oh, she's left it and it's landed in. She could have played it. Yep. Well, once again, taking her time, the youngster. She is on the verge of victory. Two match point opportunities. A well saved, brave, brave play by Simon Ewell. She's done it, second time of asking. And the number two seed from India. Heartbreak for her and in Indian fans, but what delight for Rachanuk Intanon. A star is born in the world of badminton. The 18-year-old, the junior player, is through to the final of the oldest and most prestigious annual tournament on the world tour. The moment of realization, the moment of victory. Yeah, that hurt physically, but it was worth all the pain. She is through to the final tomorrow. 40 minutes of play 21 15 21 19